Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Pop featuring Fat Man and Little Boy. I am Stephen Corka. Juan Frotch. Well, I did, you had to get that double shot energy. Oh, I need it, man. Right, right there. It is, listen, it is fucking raining. It's nasty outside. It's really gross. We're in Miami. Um, the plants are happy, but that's about it right now. Uh, but we don't have much to talk about because Jessica Jones season two came out. Wonski was supposed to watch that, and he didn't watch it. How far did you get into it? Um, I got, I got, I got, I got. Uh, Hello? Oh, yeah, they called in a minute. Que estoy en cámara, bye. I'm sorry, what was your question? I didn't hear that. We were rudely interrupted. How was Jessica Jones? What did you think the to, first few to episodes? To be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't even finished season one of Jessica Jones. Continue. Because I'm just like, ah. Uh, so, like, Wonski was totally going to, like, you know, free ball that and go solo and just give his review. I just, you know, sit here next to him and let him talk to himself. I got to episode 10, man. You, I thought there was only 10 episodes in it. No, there's 13. 13 again yeah, yeah they got criticized for that that like like that was one of the it's good, too that, much that was one of the good things about defenders it was eight episodes yeah eight episodes you know it was like in and out done yeah you know 13 episodes yeah and it really drags there's no main villain so so you're on episode 10 again oh uh, 10 or 11 yeah all right so we're not gonna talk about it once he's gonna finish it and then we'll talk about it a little it was bit. hard man it was hard to get through the episodes i got through well you're you you got a few more left and i'm oh. sure you'll make it but uh we're here to talk about some other news first i want to bring up something that is, uh, is, is kind of crazy um and we kind of we kind of hinted at this uh, a couple months ago as it was as it was leaked out that this was going on but it looks like it's a reality now and that is uh it looks like we're losing Toys R Us. Yeah. Which, I guess they said this week starting Wednesday, today is Monday, um, we're going to start seeing different stores start to liquidate stuff. Wow. So initially, right now, like, okay, great, yeah, we can go to Toys R Us and get stuff on clearance. But the long game, this is horrible. It's really sad. End of an era. Mm -hmm. The only place we're going to be able to get our toys now is at target or walmart mm -hmm. um and we don't have that big of a toy section with, and they have a horrible toy selection they they really do it's mm. not it's not that big and i guess you can go to amazon now sure which a lot of people are complaining about uh, well a lot of retailers and stuff because amazon is on amazon's the new walmart they're even yeah. they're cutting walmart yeah. on prices um and then of course you can come to like Corker Comics or any other store like us, but no. you know, as much as we enjoy our toy selection here, it's it's nothing compared to what Toys R Us offers. No, right. Um, so we're definitely gonna. I, I'm, I'm sad about it. Yeah, it's a big part of our childhood. And it's a big part of everything. It's just you know, and, and and I mean they haven't been relevant in a very long time. Well, that's uh that's that's. Cheap. I mean, I thought KB Toys closing was more shocking when that happened. Really? Why? I don't know, KB Toys was always like, you know, I always uh, had a soft spot in my heart for KB Toys. I mean, I like KB Toys too, don't yeah. wrong, but Toys R Us, out the door, super sad. Um, Isn't that the way that now, like, they're predicting most big box retailers? It's just unsustainable models, especially with people's shopping habits now. Well, I don't know, but here's the problem. So, so I was reading that 10% of Hasbro and Mattel, which are arguably the biggest toy retailers out mm -hmm. there, um, ten percent of their business comes from Toys R Us. Yeah, I believe it. That's a huge drop. Yeah. In bottom line for them. Oh yeah. And another ten or twenty percent, I think, comes from Walmart, mm -hmm. and then ten percent from Target. So, you know, if you have no Hasbro and you have no Mattel, like we lose a big chunk of toys. Yeah. And Lego is hurting from this too cuz but yeah. uh, but no one knows about Lego cuz Lego's not publicly traded. It's right, 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 right. Uh but you know, so I mean, I guess it opens up the floor to indie toy makers to do cool stuff and get licenses, but let's be real guys, that shit costs more. You know? An yeah. action figure that will cost you $15 from Hasbro or Mattel, it's going to cost you double that from an indie toy maker. Yeah. And that's that's the road we're going down. Um not to mention, you know, a big another big blame was, you know, children today and the way parents are parenting their children and how they don't give them toys anymore. Yeah. You know, they just want to sit in front of a screen all day. Mm-hmm. 
You got kids. What do you think about that? I, my kids had a ton of toys, so. Do they play with toys? Yeah. Still? Yeah. Your son's 11. And not so much. He has, like, some wrestlers he plays with. Okay. Wrestling action figures, and he still likes Legos. Yeah. And, and my my little girl know. likes Barbies. She likes Barbie? Yeah, she o- has. Over the Disney princesses? Yeah, she has Barbies. She prefers Barbie? Yeah, yeah. She likes yeah. Barbies. So, uh, you know, Toys R Us. I'm a little hoarse. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's 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 a... Uh, so I, I apologize. It's allergy season right now. So I didn't know that. It's totally allergy season. So I'm totally like phlegmy and shit. I'm sorry. Okay. Speaking of, I'm gaining weight too. Why? I'm, I don't know. I just am. Must be all your celery parties. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I got I got I got to work that down. It's not it's not going good. Anyway, so Toys R Us, rest in peace, Wonski. What do you got? Huh? What do you got? What do I got? What do you mean? What's going on? Nah, same old, same old. No, I'm with you. Like, 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 you got some news for the people? Batman The Dark Knight Wall Hunt's the only comic that topped 100,000 comics in sales for the month of February. Really? You're going to give a stati- statistic? It's news. Oh, my God. Well, that's great. All right, well, my turn again. All right. Sure. Black Panther hit a billion dollars mm-hmm. worldwide now. Um, it's the number... F- I think it's in the top five domestic grossing. And... It's less than fifty million away from beating Avengers. What do you think about that? Avengers one. Avengers number one, the first one. Wow. It already beat Age of Ultron. I mean, I thought Black Panther was a good movie. Not a great movie, but it's a good movie. I don't think it was a great movie either. Well, that's all right. Um, I understand the social impact, and that's obviously where these extra dollars are coming from. Yeah. But I think critics and people that are writing articles on this on this stuff, they're not really talking about that, and there's they're they're instead praising the movie. Yeah. And the movie's good. Like, let's not. Yeah. No. The, the, the movie is really the good. The movie's good. The casting is great, and all the actors do a phenomenal job. Yeah. But, like. Here's what's ahead of it. Um, Avengers is ahead of it. Is Avengers better than Black Panther? I believe so. I think so, too. Jurassic World is ahead of Black Panther right now. Domestic. I, I don't think that's better. That's another one that I think was just... Jurassic World actually beat Avengers. Overhyped. I agree. Jurassic World was not... It was great, not not that great, no. It, it definitely... It wasn't better than Jurassic Park. Jurassic no, no, Park's no. Jurassic better no, than no. all these Yeah, movies. Jurassic Park's better than... Uh, you know what else is ahead of this is um, um, Titanic. Which Titanic's amazing? Ah, Titanic's amazing, dude. I, I prefer Black Panther. Ti- ti- no, Titanic's no, no Titanic. Titanic, Titanic sinks Black Panther. Ooh ah. <laughs> no, I mean it's good for people with soft girl hearts. Shut the fuck up. All right, whatever. Listen, um, Avatar is ahead of, of course. Ha- Avatar is the highest grossing movie ever. Is, a- is ahead of Black Panther. That weird with the blue things. That religious movie. The Fern Gold, the live action. Yeah, movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so also not better than Black Panther. So here's the here's the real question. Avengers, which was segues into my next news thing. Avengers: Infinity War was <clears> bumped <throat> up a week. It's no longer going to be the first week yeah. of May, which was Free Comic Book Day weekend. It's going to come out a week before, which is going to match up with what the rest. Because I I think the Europe was and UK was going to um, come out a week. A week yeah, before. yeah, exactly. And now everyone's on the same on the plan. same plan. Yeah. Uh, to avoid spoilers, I'm assuming. So, with that said, since Avengers is coming out a week before, um, is bl- there's predictions out there that Black Panther is going to b- do better than Avengers. I don't think that's going to happen. You- no, that's that's not going to happen. Um, that's not going to happen. Like, what we discussed before is it's Avengers on its own gets enough people all the people that are buying into it because of Black Panther that wouldn't see it before is going to put it over the top yeah yeah so so another thing to note A Wrinkle in Time came out this past weekend my turn for the news hold on this is all about the same thing as A Wrinkle in Time bombed A Wrinkle in Time bombed it did horrible but I mean it, it, it came in number two it didn't beat Black Panther yeah uh, but everyone says it sucks I could have it didn't look good initially from the get-go. It didn't. Anyways. It looked silly. I, I, I'm not familiar with the time, that with, the, with the story at all. Mm-hmm. But, but so A Wrinkle in Time is not going to do well. Um, but here's here's what Black Panther has to compete with. Pacific Rim comes out next week, or mm-hmm. this week, I think. Yeah, that's not going to touch it. You don't think Pacific Rim is going to beat out Black Panther? Um, Black Panther is still going to be number one in the box office. No, I think, I mean, eventually it's four weeks now that's been number one. 
It's a, it's a little over a month, I think. Yeah, it's for this for the fourth weekend. It's, okay, so uh, is it going to continue to be number one, or, uh, it, it's, or it's, it, who's gonna who's gonna unseat Black Panther? Is it Pacific Rim? Is it Ready Player One, which it, comes out at the end of the month? It might be Avengers. Or is it going to be all the way till? No, 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 not till the end of April. No, uh, probably Ready Player One will probably knock it down. So not Pacific Rim. I I don't think so. I'll tell you what. Ready Player One debuted at. at Are you excited for uh, Pacific Rim? No, I'm not. But you were for the first one. Yes. And that's the difference. Yes. I feel the same way. Here's the deal. The the, the Jaegers in Pacific Rim 1 looked way better than the Jaegers yeah. in Pacific Rim 2. Yeah. You yeah. know, the, the Jaegers in Pacific Rim 1 actually looked like real things. Yeah, this is like a Saturday play. morning new fucking Power Rangers show is exactly. what it looks like. Yeah. Like the, the, the swords the, and shit. The uh, Jaegers don't look like robots. No, right. The, that's, the, that's my problem. Where in Pacific Rim, they looked like robots. Like, they right. moved and they functioned. They were put together like robots. Right. In Pacific Rim Uprising, is it called? I'm not sure. Or whatever. They're, they're not like that at all. Right. And, and, you know, what's the guy? Is it John Bodega? Or mm. is, what, is it Bodega? Bodega? No, I'm not sure. Um, Finn. Um, he, you know, he, he'll do great, I'm sure. Um, but uh, those a uh, lot of teens are in it, too. So it it's kind of looks like one of those, like... Uh, um, teen movies, right? That 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 they're trying to do. Um, so I I, I don't know, um, but Pacific uh, Pacific Rim comes out I think this week. Ready Player One debuted at South by Southwest uh, this past this past weekend, which Wanski just found out what South by Southwest is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, and uh, the reviews are in, and everyone's like, everyone's like, it's great. There's a few people that are like, too much fan service. Too many Easter eggs, blah blah blah. If mm-hmm. and a lot of people are saying like, if you if you weren't around in that time, you're not gonna get shit. You know? Yeah, it's the 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 movie is is Dane Cook. What do you mean? Dane Cook's style of comedy. It's the same thing. This movie just makes a bunch of references about the '80s and '90s and play on people's nostalgia. So wait, you're not looking forward to it? Huh? You're not looking forward to it? No, I'm, I'll I'll have some member berries. Do, do you think it'll be good? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be just fan service. Wow, it's gonna be playing on people's emotions. I, I just think that's what it's. Whatever, gonna be. I, I think it's gonna be great. Did you know Steven Spielberg got Alan Silvestri to come do the soundtrack, which is usually unlike him. Usually he gets he gets um, John Williams to do his soundtracks, but he got Alan Silvestri to do it. I, I, I have to. What, what do you mean? Where are you going? What the hell? I have to get this through. Dude, it can't be that big of a deal. See what I have to deal with, ladies and gentlemen? It's not a big deal. Everything's going to be fine, I'm telling you. Anyways, what I was saying to you is in Ready Player One, Alan Silvestri is doing the soundtrack. Alan Silvestri did the soundtrack to Back to the Future. Um, and as we can see, the DeLorean is already in it. King Kong is in it. The T-Rex from Jurassic Park is in it. The Iron Giant. There's a Gundam. There's there's uh, Freddy Krueger is in it. It's It's... It, 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 it's amazing. There's there's so many amazing things happening in this movie. Um, the soundtrack is just supposed to be just like filled with just like crazy 80s goodness. It, it's just it's it, it's it's going to be amazing. Um, I'm very much looking forward to Ready, Ready Player One. Um, what else is going on? Since I'm I, I had other things to talk about, but I want to get Juan's input on it, of course. But of course, he has to be fucking lame. <sighs> You know, we had a we had a fan actually make a fan video of of us, and uh, and just to just to reference one's one's per- lack of perkiness, you know, <laughs> it would he titled the video "Mad Juan" and he basically took a clip of us where like of course I'm like, ah! and Wanski is just like like I'm alive, I'm here, you know, and to some like to some like really like droopy REM track, you know. Which, let's be real, besides Orange Crush and Losing My Religion, R.E.M. sucks. Um, Orange Crush is a great song, though. Uh, if you guys don't know it, check it out. Um, if you're if you're younger than, than 35, you probably won't even know what Orange Crush is. And, of course, Losing My Religion. Who, who doesn't like Losing My Religion, you know? That's a great, it's a great tune. It won the Video of the Year Award um, at the MTV Movie uh, Music Awards, which... I'm confused by the MTV Music Awards. Um, are we are we are we giving awards for the video, or are we giving awards for the music? You know, I think sometimes it's music, sometimes it's video because 
sometimes the videos are not that great. Let's take Losing My Religion since we use that, uh, since that's how I segued into this anyways. That video is basically uh, Michael Stipe, I think that's the lead singer of R.E.M., you know, just in an empty room and basically like, you know, like dancing and throwing his, his, his hands up in the air and whatever. And there's milk that falls and there's a... There's like a, a fallen angel with arrows stuck to his body or some crap like that. Um, wasn't a great video. I think Sinead O'Connor won the same award too for uh, Nothing Compares to You, which is basically just a shot of her with black in the background, solo headshot, and then like her walking through the streets of Paris. Um, which, by the way, Nothing Compares to You was written by Prince, um, not Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor lost her mind anyway. She's basically a one-hit wonder. Remember when she was on Saturday Night Live and she ripped up the picture of the Pope and everyone was like, oh. yeah, I know. Um, so, other than that, there, there was, um, you know, I, I, I'll talk about this because Wonski, yeah, Wonski doesn't give a shit, but the iHeartRadio Awards, since we're talking about music, the iHeartRadio Awards was last night and um, Taylor Swift debuted her new video. She won, like, the Artist of the Year Award or some shit like that. But, like, nowhere to be found. She's been MIA. She comes out with a new album, but no one can find her, you know? I don't know if it's some weird marketing ploy or whatever, but the, the album is horrible. I'm not a big Taylor Swift fan anyways, but this album is probably her worst album to date. Uh, and she, she debuted a new video, and I guess that was, like, her, her, here you guys go. You know, I won't be there to accept the word, but here, watch a video of me, you know? Very, like, very, very full, full of herself, I guess, but whatever, it's fine. Um, Cardi B was there, too. I don't know how I feel about Cardi B. I don't think I like her music, because um, it all kind of, it sounds the same, and I think she's, like, you know, very similar to Nicki Minaj, like, in, like, her tone of voice, um, and I think Nicki Minaj is better. Um, Nicki Minaj sings, Cardi B doesn't. But Cardi B is 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 very funny to watch and very fun and very f and 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 light and lively and she like she gave a speech and and you know she says really off the wall stuff and makes weird sound effects and you know there's something there, there's there's something fun of fun about that you know I think that's I think that's part of her appeal so like she's a bad bitch when she raps you know she spits fire she likes to say but. Uh, but then when she talks, like, on talk shows and stuff, it's like, she's super fun and playful and, and, uh, and all that other stuff. Um, she looks good, too. At Suzy Fett, do you think Cardi B looks good? Yeah, she looks good, right? Yeah. Doesn't she have a tattoo on her leg? I think she has a tattoo on her leg. I re I'm not big on tattoos, you know, but if you got them, whatever you got them. But, but places... You know, people shouldn't get tattoos. Of course, their face. Like, keep tattoos off your face. What are you thinking? You know? Unless you, like, want to be feared. Um, for women, like, tattoos on your chest? Why? And tattoos on your leg? I, I can't get into that either. I mean, if it's your thing, that's cool. It's just, I can't get into it. It's like, um, whatever. You know? When I was, when I was in high school and college and stuff like that, uh, the 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 big the big tattoos were the ones the that that girls were getting were on their lower back uh, aka target tramp stamp um i forget other names it was, it was always the the tribal the tribal things that was really big too like so many girls got tribal tattoos on their lower back it was crazy at suzy fat yes do you have a a tribal tattoo on your lower back tribal? do you have a tattoo on your lower back yeah of course she does what is it they're dolphins. Like actual dolphins, not the team dolphins. <laughs> like, I didn't think it was the team dolphins. I tell you what was for, for the dolphins and I, yeah. why, would, why would you get the Miami Dolphins symbol yeah, on your lower back? Lame. That would be super lame. Wait, so is it like dolphins like swimming? It's a dolphin in, a, in the sun. Is it your lower back or is it like on your ass? My lower back. Yeah, can you show the audience? Is it weird? No. Let's see, let's see this. Let's see this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do you see? Okay. So it's kind of like a heart, but not really. Is was that what you were going for? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 
She's got two dolphins. What made you pick dolphins? Um, I used to visit dolphins a lot. You used to visit dolphins a lot? Yeah. Where? The Seaquarium. You went to Miami Seaquarium? Yeah, because they have a lame life over there. They have a lame life? Yes, they do. What do you mean they have a lame life? They? Who's they? All the dolphins that live there. Oh, they do. So, but by, by, by going, don't you support I the Miami Sea Aquarium? Well, actually, it was given to me. It was like one of those free passes that I had for a whole year. Oh, so okay. So I used it to give them something to... Did you different. swim with the dolphins? No. I no? wouldn't pay for that shit. No. So they, have a, will abuse animals. they have a killer whale, too, don't they? Yeah. She's like 40, 50 years old almost. Mm. Did you watch that show Blackfish? Yes, I did. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. I used to have my own campaign. Used to what? I have my own campaign against that stuff. What do you mean you used to have your own campaign? Yeah, I had like a whole movement going. Really? How many people? I had like 3,000 people. That's a lot of people. What happened? People only do shit for fame. Not because they care, so it was kind of disheartening. Wait, wait, so all 3,000 people were like, we want to be famous? A lot of people, people that I would like, we would have rallies and stuff in the embassy of Japan and we would do a lot of things. People wanted like their five minute of fame. They wanted to be on camera and... It got ridiculous. Oh. So, I kind of just walked away from it. Here, sit, sit down, sit down. Take one spot. Fuck it. Right? Okay. Are you, are you reading any comics lately? No, I haven't been able to read anything. What do you mean you're not reading any comics lately? Since my so dad's what, what, accident, what, what, I haven't what, been what, able to what, do anything. What do you What do you tell? Here, come a little closer. There, there you go. What What do you tell people? What do you tell people when when they want a recommendation on a comic? I kind of wing it. You wing it. Yeah. So you, you you don't even know what you're recommending. No, I wing it. You're like, holy I'm shit! I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. And that's. Are you Are you looking forward to the Avengers movie? Hell yeah. Really? But I know a lot about the Avengers because I read stuff and I've seen all the movies. Not the comics, it's too many. Do you know about the Infinity Gems? Yes. Uh, name them. What oh my god, do? I can't name all of them. Uh, but I know what they are. And what I do they do? One. What do they do, though? Well, they need all of them to basically... Yeah, but what do the gems do? Can you tell me about all the different gems and what they do? They each have powers of destruction. No shit, but what do they do? And they're not all destruction, ladies and gentlemen. Not all, but I know that some of them do. But, w w so... What Which do? gem you want me to talk uh, about? Oh, uh, as many as you can. Oh my god, I can't. I can't think of... You're putting me in the spot. All right, well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? If you don't know what you're doing, check it out. You can get Infinity Countdown, ladies and gentlemen. This is Marvel's latest thing happening right now. And check it out. Check it out. Look. It tells look. you all the all stones. All the stones. It says what they do and what order they go in and Let everything. Let me see. It's great. It's great. See, I, I didn't know about the Infinity Stones myself that well. I knew they existed, and I tried reading the Infinity Gauntlet story from the 90s, and it just wasn't good, and it didn't teach me shit about the stones at all. And this does. Well, it does on this one page right here, um, but the rest of it's not really, really. I mean, that's the one we're missing. They're, they're, yeah, we're missing the Soul Stone in the in the movie verse. But but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, check out Infinity Countdown from Marvel. They just came out with the number one right now. It's not bad. Um, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. But it's good. Are you excited about Superman? Superman. Oh yeah, check this out. So, so. So, Brian Michael Bendis, you know who he is, right? I'm really bad with names. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. I am terrible with names. Oh like, God. I've seen certain things and be like, oh, this. shit, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look, Wanski's back. And Wanski, did you see this? This huge two-page spread right here. DC is sucking his dick hard right now. I'm sorry, customers. We're cursing this. <laughs> we mean, but, but, but Bendis is coming. Bendis is coming. He Bendis, the, DC is prepping up this guy so much that if his Superman story is not good, oh my God, it's going to be so bad. I don't really care for Superman, though. I, what do you mean you care for Superman? I'm not a fan of DC. Why not? I think they're lame. Batsy knows this. I tell him all the time. <laughs> Batsy's a fucking jerk. <laughs> 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 Well, oh, yeah, so, 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 yeah, Bendis is coming. He's going to be in Action 1000. He was just at South by Southwest, and he took over to DC's Instagram. He's a very famous writer at Suzy Fett. Like, really, come on. 
very famous and i didn't know this oh my god that's okay though customers please come in and school at suzy fett <laughs> she's been here like a year but clearly she hasn't picked up on anything but that's okay um so yeah that's that's infinity did, did, did you like black panther by the way i did do you think it's in the top five marvel movies ever i would say yes what i think it's in the top five for sure you think it, is it better than iron man no is it better than guardians of the galaxy yes the first Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, it was good, but I think I prefer this one. You prefer Black Panther over the first Guardians yes, of the Galaxy? Yes, I do. Okay, what about Captain America Winter Soldier? To me, that's like number one. What about Captain America Civil War? Is it better than that? I think it's better than that one. You think, it, you think Black Panther is better than Captain America Civil War? I mean, I want to go back to see the movie again. I mean, hey, if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. That's yeah, my opinion. I think it was better. Oh my god! Do you, do you, do you think it's better than Ant Man? I liked Ant Man. Okay. Do you think it's better than than uh, Iron Man two or three? Yes. Do you think it's better than than um, Thor one, two, or three? It's better than the. It's better than Thor. All three. It's better than all three Thors. I like the first one. Do you like the first one better? than Black Panther. That's hard. Because I like both. But which? But if you had to pick one? I would go with Thor. You just because I like the whole space theme. You would go with Thor. Okay. So the space theme, but but, Guardi but beca Guardians isn't above Black Panther. And that's a space movie. I know. But I think it was too funny. It was funny? I mean, even though I like funny movies, but I think it was too funny. This one was more serious toned. Is, is Black Panther better than Avengers or Avengers 2? No. No? No. So I don't both think so. those movies are better than Black Panther. I would say so, yeah. Bam as Susie Fett, that's six movies that are better than Black Panther. You said Black Panther was in the top five. <laughs> you just lied. I just caught you in a lie. Okay? As Susie Fett said, Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron, Captain America Winter Soldier, Ant Man, Thor, and Iron Man were better than Black Panther. That's but six movies. But if I can put movies. them all in the that's top six five, movies. No, I'll fit it no, in top no, five. You just got caught in, in like, a, like a pool of bullshit right there. Okay. You know? You've been hanging out with Wonski, who wants his pizza party. His little crybaby pizza party. Wonski, are you coming back to the show or are you just going to sit over there and like pout? He's sad right now. Wonski, come back to the show. He's just bummed. He's such a slug sometimes. So he really wanted a pizza party. I, if he wants a pizza party, he needs to not be a slug. Look, he's still just... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... 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 Wonski versus Batsy. Who wins in a fight? Juan. Juan, Juan wins in a fight. Yes. Definitely Juan. <laughs> I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay, ladies, that's at Susie Fett. I will Fett. give you the microphone back. Right. That's at Susie Fett right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Everybody just saw my butt. You didn't show your no, ass. I'm Did you show your ass? Oh, this is my tattoo. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to look like oh, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Wow. Wow. Are you okay? <clears throat> Some problems. Uh, okay. You go okay. Did mm -hmm. you? Have, did, did so? What other news did you have for us, Wonski? Hmm. What other news did you have for us? No, no other news. Okay, for a top five feature fat man, little boy, I'm Steven Gorka. On Frotch. Ah.